Disney from American Doll. Um, I would like to show you this hairdo. It's called a braider half up, half down. What you need to have is, I have a whole stack, but I only need three elastics. One, two, three. And I have another doll here. So we'll be making this um really braided half up, half down. So supposedly you have to make sure that her hair is fully combed. You don't need any bumps or anything. So here we go. I'm gonna sit over here. So this is my other doll that I have. So I will take just a little, you don't need a whole box. Maybe a little more. You need this much. You're gonna comb it like that and make sure it's, see how it's going through right through? You want it back to half. I'm gonna do it like 10 times, but I'm not gonna do it 10 times because I have to get the little done. We have to braid this piece that I picked up. Put it into three pieces. You know how to braid. If you guys don't know how to braid, just watch me. I'm gonna do it this way. But we're gonna do oh my gosh, it is. So this is my part, remember? I'm going to put in three pieces. Go across. If you guys know how to braid, just go ahead of me. You know how to braid. I know how to braid very quickly. So we're gonna do one elastic on this. Now you don't wanna, you wanna make sure that it's on the proper piece that you wanted. So here's my braid. Now I'm going to braid the other side. You're gonna take the same exact, you're not taking this whole piece. You're taking half. This is kind of half. You really want the front most. You're gonna put it two, three pieces, and braid it. So if you supposedly have three elastics, like I said in the first beginning, you have your good supplies. You don't need anything really else. So I'm reading right now. Almost done. With one elastic. I put it through. Make sure you only do it three times because then it's gonna be loose. So we don't. So then watch me. If it's messy in the front, it's fine. Just do it a little bit. You want to try to make sure that there's no bumps or anything. And you just swing it around. And I'll show you in the back. You put this hair elastic and tie it together. And you're going to make sure not only that you want it to be tight, you kind of want it to be loose. So if, if you want like a hair piece to go through it or anything, that means that's good. So here is my, and if you want it like bobby pins like that, you know, I could do better than this. See, this is my better one, <laughs> you can see. Um, if you want to fix it, and you want to do a heart shape like her, um, I will be showing this, not right now, maybe some other day. But I need you to know that every single day that you need to do at least one hairstyle a day. So if you keep your doll's hair like this and it's wet, her front hair can be curled. Now, I have one more hairstyle to do and then I have to end it because I have to go so, soon I will be ending it. What you're going to do, now this is braiding too. You're gonna put your little pigtails in a pigtail. You only need two, actually you need four elastics for this because you're braiding. You 
going one, two, right? You're gonna do it four times so it's really tight because you wanna make sure that it's really tight. You want it that high, kind of, about that high. And if you want it lower, it's fine, but it still makes it better. Let's do it high. So, if your hair is very long, if your American doll hair is very long like mine, or even longer, like down to here, you could do the same exact thing. You could do bun, you could do. So now I'm going to show you how to braid it and put it in a bun. You're going to braid that piece. Everyone knows how to braid because I just taught them in the other hairstyle. And braid it. Now not only you're going to put a hair piece, you're going to just swing it around. And you grab an elastic and put it like that. So now that's my first one. The second one is if you want it lower, it's fine. Put it lower. Now, if your hair is short like mine and you need your American doll's hair to be shorter, just really. Go online and see if one of your hairdos can come up on the thing. So, I'm so excited to see what you guys think. But you are going to, when you do this, like when you do the pigtails, you can do them like this. Well, I'll just do this one because that one's going to take me like an hour. And you can just slip it out if you want. Now, if you want a crazy hairstyle and a crazy bun, then what you have to do is just. Really, you're going to just like, I have to comb my doll's hair. You have to, if one piece is, you can see in the back of her hair is not very neat. You have to make sure that the hair is neat. Now, if you want like a side ponytail, you can do it like that. Now, here's my last hairstyle we'll be doing for today because it's going to be. You're going to take this piece and this piece and leave it back. Put it down. Yes. Then look. I know how bad it's not the problem. But what you're going to do is you're going to take one elastic and put your bread. Now it looks like you have a pigtail, and it is true that you have a pigtail. And you have a pigtail. Now the back usually is, um, usually someone would curl it, but I'm not curling it at this point. Um, I know they're uneven and stuff, but this could be when your hair stops. And if you want it back and stuff like that, then it will be fine for you to go like that. You can grill like a kitty. Yeah. Now if you just want it pigtails, you are good for the road. So we have this hairstyle and this hairstyle. I will be showing another video soon, but not today because we have to go somewhere. I've been telling you that for like the last five minutes. Um, you know, this is McKenna and this is Miss Stylish. So I will see you guys soon. Bye bye for now. And remember, I want you.
you to tell on YouTube what I should do again. And I hope you like these um thing um um hairstyles again. Um I will do a better job next time. Alright, bye.